Okay. Stop. John Maggie. I believe my pretty bad. So folks, earlier I couldn't get a video of uh, me actually fighting that fish. But there's a bit of a story to it. So whilst uh, Dawnsy goes back to fetch his, his bike, I thought I'll just do and make this quick video to tell you the story about this fish that I just caught. So uh, it's been a while since I got a decent GT. And so the focus was trying to get one again. And the other day we came up and uh, I just couldn't get the distance. Don't see got one or two green spots and I just couldn't get the distance. So yesterday, knowing that there's a possibility will come up this morning, I made or I prepped this spoon. It's a homemade one, but it's five ounces. So I, I rigged it up, put the hooks on, for in case the opportunity came and it did. And I uh, managed to get the distance. And I was a little bit concerned because I had a reel that throws a little bit further but it had three different sets of lines in other words three knots in it and uh, the fish came hit it once and then as the spoon came over the crest of the wave I saw the splash and it smoked it and uh, it took off probably took about 50 odd meters of line and then I the fisherman's worst nightmare I saw a shark in the wave and I'm going like no please this can't happen now and uh, but we got lucky and uh, everything worked out fine and I'll tell you what a blue fish don't throw it away folks these are light rods but uh, they can do the damage to a decent fish so uh, yeah I hope you enjoy the video and hopefully it inspires some of you to, to throw a spoon uh, or a plug at these big kings yeah so uh, with the rod being so light and there's lots of reef here at Vidal, those of you who know the, the beach up north of Vidal, I was uh, pretty nervous of the rocks. And so what I did was eventually I pulled and I went as high as I could up the dune to try and get a different angle on the line to try and pull it over the rocks. Just a little trick that uh, guys must uh, maybe keep in mind when you're fighting these fish, a bigger fish with lots of rock and reef in front of you. Try and get elevation so you get a a much more cute angle on the line which also helps to land these fish so uh, we're on our way home and it's low tide and this is where i landed my fish you can see why i was stressing to get him over these rocks without using it all right folks so uh, after all that excitement time to go up and see if we can find some some reef fish that was the plan originally Obviously got sidetracked by the birds and um, I'm super stoked about that. As I'm riding along and I see this shiny thing on the beach and it looks like a baby whale. I might hopefully it'll get back in the water. It's close by now to getting back. It's in deeper water. It was right on the water's edge. Here. This is a baby whale. It's just struggling to get back in the water. You can see it looks like it's very tired. Come on, waves, push it back in. But I don't know where the mother is. It's trying, it's trying. Yep, 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 go, go. Yep, yep, there we go. There's it. There you go. Over the ledge. 
Wow, happy days. There you go. Oh, I don't know where the mother is. I just wonder how it got so close too. Wow. As I say, I was riding and I look at this shiny thing on the beach flapping around. But I was quite far away. Came as soon as I can, but lucky. It's always nice to tell a positive story. Yeah, definitely okay now. Heading out to, to see. Yeah, I don't know if it'll make it because as I say, I don't know where his mother is. But, uh, At least it's going. And so I just wonder how it got here. That's the other, other thing. Things are going nice. We share all books of things. Bonefish, oh my word. Biggest bony I've ever seen. Oh, it's a springer. 